Okay, here we are in PC Demos, and uh, I'm going to be demonstrating the AutoPath functionality, um, a brand new option within PC Demos to quickly and easily create your PC Demos part program. I've brought in a model, and I've done a simple alignment with a plane and a line and a point, and uh, I've just gone to DCC mode. So uh, we're going to start right off, and uh, let's say we go uh, pick a plane. and we've got our void detection on so it automatically figures out where to go and uh, take those pro pits without uh, falling into a hole so we'll take a couple of planes here on the top and on the front and then maybe we'll go do some depth measurement take a point inside of that and a point inside of that hole and a point inside of this hole and then maybe we'll go grab some circles first thing you have to do is uh, well you can go in and just select a bunch of holes if you'd like or you can select them one at a time so we'll go continue that and uh, just measure a bunch of circles around the part Alright, so now that that is done, close this out, maybe get some dimensions for this uh, for this part. Go back to location. Uh, I like to just select everything, keep it nice and simple. Put in a generic tolerance. to the races. Now we've got a part program that has measured everything I want to be measured and has dimensioned the location of all of that intelligently. And uh, from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmark everything but my DCC features and I'm going to do an optimize. This is part of the auto path functionality. The optimize path basically will take um, and change the order of all the features to be a more efficient order um, to minimize the path between features and it will select the proper wrist angle to go into each hole. So let's go do that. And uh, it just optimized it by 50%. So that means it's 50% faster than what it would have been had I left it alone. So with that accomplished what we're going to do is go back and um, just mark my DCC features again and we're going to learn moves automatically again with AutoPath around the part. As it does that what it will do is it will draw the path lines of all those moves for us. It will display them at which point we can now go and figure out if anything's going to crash by using our collision detection module. We'll let that get to the first feature once it starts measuring We'll turn on the stop um, collision box and let's see where it goes from here. So notice it automatically selected the appropriate tip angle to get into that 45 degree angle hole and it will continue to do so uh, as it goes around the park. Okay, so basically it went through the whole part, it did not collide, and uh, basically we'll redraw all the path lines green for us, let us know that. Um, however, we don't need to have those path lines up there, so we can just undraw them. And uh, we're good to go, so we're going to save this program, and we're ready to put it on the CMM and run it. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.